Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alham. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habata fillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you in this most blessed time, the Eid. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with tawfiq to worship Him and increase your ibadah to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala and see many more Eids that are blessed. And as a reminder to my brothers and sisters and myself, first and foremost to myself, is to enjoy this Eid. Enjoy it with your family, enjoy it with your friends. Make dhikr of Allah and supplicate often for your brothers and sisters. Of course, make dhabh if you are able to, to sacrifice. And give sadaqah and do as many righteous deeds as possible. And the most easiest of things to do is making dhikr to Allah and supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And please supplicate for our brothers and sisters uh, all over the continent of Africa in many places where they're suffering, either they're oppressed or perhaps there's famine or perhaps there's other difficulties. And pray for our brothers and sisters in India, in the various parts of India, some of the places where they're uh, being oppressed and killed for uh, or even ha possessing a, a cow. And supplicate for our brothers and sisters in Burma who are being slaughtered as we speak. And our brothers and sisters in China who are being oppressed from the Igor peoples and others. And our brothers and sisters all over the world, wherever they may be suffering. And bless, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them with peace and stability in Pakistan, in Yemen, in Syria. In uh, for the Palestinians, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them, preserve them, increase their rizq, and bless them with a righteous state based on Kitabillah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and protect them uh, from the evils of their oppressors. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. And what I wanted to advise myself with and my brothers and sisters is to make lots of the dhikr because this is so easy and as I mentioned supplication supplicate for yourself and your families and this can be a lonely time for some of our brothers and sisters and I know myself being here in Saudi Arabia the loneliest Eids I have are in Saudi Arabia it's not like being in America or in even other countries I've been in Ethiopia I've been to some other places and had uh, very festive times, you know, because you have Muslims from all over and they interact with you. But here in Saudi Arabia, it's very different. And what I will say is that for those brothers and sisters that have families, of course, spend the time with your families. And that have uh, people from a particular culture, maybe you have a culture, so you have a huge community. But I would advise myself and my brothers and sisters to also think about your brothers and sisters who've left darkness to come to the light of Islam, who need welcoming, who need their brothers and sisters to welcome them and invite them for dinner, meaning those revert Muslims, those people who are often left out in many of our communities all over the world, but especially in the West, we have these problems where many of our brothers and sisters are left out. When they have Eid for them is an extremely lonely time. So do your best to extend an invitation to one of your brothers or one of your sisters uh, and invite them and to share in the festivities so they know and enjoy what Islam, why should they, or this can be a weakening for the hearts of the people. They say, hey, I left disbelief and we had so many festivities and we comforted and came together and enjoyed one another and gave gifts but now I'm a Muslim the highest uh, 
perform uh, the highest and the best lifestyle, the way and the best relationship, the only relationship that's legitimate with Allah but yet I'm lonelier than I could ever be. So this is why it's very important, brothers and sisters, to extend that, to take this time to uh, share this great festive occasion with all your brothers and sisters. And also, in addition, if you can go visit the sick on this joyous occasion, because there are many people who are in the hospitals who are sick with and without family. And this can bring joy in their life. And you can take out just 5, 10, 15 minutes. And you don't know the tremendous joy you could bring in their life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says regarding dhikr. And this is one of the highest acts of ibadah that we can do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wali dhikrullahi akbar. And the remembrance of Allah is the greatest. Meaning this is the greatest... Uh, this is the greatest form of, or one of the greatest forms of ibadah that you can do. This is establishing your relationship with your Lord. And this is great in the sight of Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, أَذْكُرُكُمْ So look at the benefits here. Look at this great benefit that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you remember me, and in fact he this is in uh, the imperative form, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فَذْكُرُونِي فَذْكُرُونِي with kurukum. remember me and I will remember you so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in fact commanding us, it is an obligation for the mu'min to make remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us to uh, remember him, and guess what? Guess who will remember you? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remember you. Because, the, and there is no greater remembrance than that of Allah Azza wa Jal. To have your Lord who created you, who provides for you, who sustains you, who can answer your dua, who can remove your trials and tribulations, who can increase your risk and give you anything you want? Who can grant you Jannah? Who can grant you His mercy to have Him remember you? After that, you need no remembrance. So, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is so easy. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alham. Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, Wallahu Akbar. So easy, so easy on the tongue. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wadhkuru allaha kathira la'allakum tuflihun and remember Allah often so that you will be successful so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is linked remembering him with success so if you want success and want to gain maximum benefit during this Eid make dhikr often to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and eat and drink and enjoy but don't forget your brothers and sisters so supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on their behalf and visit and give gifts if you can if nothing else give the salams and we ask Allah the, the Almighty Azza wa Jal to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم سبحان الله الحمد لله والله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد